Hey YouTube maniacs out there, this is uh, me coming back at you, Justice for the Meek. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about cigars. And a lot of people have asked me here over the last couple of weeks, I want to get into cigars, I want to get into smoking them. What do you recommend smoking? And without further ado, I highly recommend smoking the Oliva Siri V. This is an amazing cigar. Um, <clears throat> last night was the first time I smoked one. Uh, this is it right here. This thing I smoked for about an hour and 15 minutes. I had to put it out because it was just too harsh even for myself. I'm not the most seasoned of all cigar smokers out there but um, I have had my experience, so uh, I'm definitely not a cigar virgin. Um, we went out with a couple of friends last night to a place called Mickey's, which is a great smoke bar. Um, pipes, tobaccos, everything's welcome, so it's really cool to go out and uh, find places like that. Maybe you guys have places like that where you guys can smoke. Mickey's is a place where we can smoke, and that's what we did. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this uh, cigar. It scored a 94. <clears throat> and CigarAficionado.com, um, that's their website, and what they do is they do nothing but rate cigars, uh, they have a little section where they talk about wines and what have you, but this cigar, um, by the way, this is a 6x60 double Toro, so uh, the cigar that they got a 94 in the rating, I believe, was the, uh, it was either the Torpedo, it was either the 6x56 Torpedo or the Special V fi Figurado, I believe it was the Torpedo. And uh, one of the cool things about this cigar is that it's smooth character all the way throughout. Now, you get notes of spiciness and creaminess throughout the cigar, but it's very smooth and it's not harsh. Uh, and you're probably thinking, well, you said you had to put it out, and I did have to put it out. Um, smoking a cigar of this size. It really takes its toll on you after a while, especially if you had a couple of drinks in which we, you know, partook in that. But uh, long story short, um, sometimes you have to take your time on, you know, cigars like this. Really enjoy them, and uh, you know, you can't really, uh, you can't really light up the Chinese restaurant the way you want to. The wrapper is a Habano Sun Grown. The binder is Nicaraguan. And the filler is Jalapa Valley Ligero, and. Uh, this thing is amazing. Uh, a lot of people say this cigar is, uh, you know, supposed to deliver a full body taste while maintaining like a um, unparalleled smoothness. Uh, to me, the flavor it's complex with rich coffee and dark chocolate tones, but at the same time, it's subtle and a well balanced spice, and that's what I look for in a cigar. I look for something that, hey, you know, it can, not only can it get your attention, but it's not just going to put you over the top to where you're, you know, ready to call the doctor and get a shot of Thorazine. That's what I like. And uh, do yourself a favor. Go out and get one. Light it up. Smoke it. Enjoy it. Live it and love it. And belong to it. I want to share one more piece of information with you. And while I'm looking that up, as you see, I'm wearing my Notre Dame jersey, number three, that is. My trivia question for you is, which quarterback wore number three for Notre Dame University? And the only hint I will give you is that he was the only quarterback in NFL history to go 4-0 and in Super Bowls. That means he won every Super Bowl he was in. A little bit of a trivia question for you. I strongly recommend going to that website, CigarAficionado.com. Um, they're amazing. Very detailed. Uh, their explanations are phenomenal. And they kind of give people who are really looking into getting into smoking cigars an idea of what it is they want. The best thing about this um, Siri V the best thing is that this stick is a $6.75 stick. That's amazing. 
the score 94 in Cigar Aficionado, to have this cigar under 7 bucks is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm going to read a little bit, if you guys can bear with me a little bit more. I'm so stoked about this damn cigar that I want to tell you as much as I can about it. I don't remember all these things. A lot of times I have to get on my computer and give me help. Um, I'm, I'm going to light it up right now. I'm going to smoke the rest of it right now. This is my double torch lighter I use. This is my baby. It's got a uh, it's got a punch in the bottom end of it. I think it's just made by uh, Colibri. It's a double torch. The technique that I'm using right now is called toasting. I'm toasting the end of the tobacco or the end of the uh, cigar rather. And what you want to do is by toasting that, you get an even burn throughout. This is what I do before I even attempt to light. Now that the cigar is fully toasted, I will light. I like to blow on the end of it. To me it kind of creates and lets me see what type of burn I want. And what I'm attempting to get is a full, bu is a full burn throughout the diameter or throughout the circumference of the cigar. Now this is the day after the smoke, or this is the day after the initial smoke. Still tons of creaminess, spiciness. I just passed the initial uh, puff through my sinuses. What I like to call a sinus pass. It's where you pass the smoke through your sinuses. Great. I'm running out of time here, so I want to I want to take a little uh, a little a little time to share you about what cigar aficionado said about this cigar in 2007. Uh, <clears throat> I think you'll enjoy it. This is amazing smoke. Oh yeah. Good rough. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> this is what Cigar Aficionado said about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> said the uh, Oliva series were known for their flavor, but not power. To reach cigar smokers yearning for more muscular smoke, the Oliva Company has released the Oliva V last year. Its full-body blend to date was the idea to craft, to create and craft a stronger cigar that still has balance, which I spoke about. It's very balanced. It's very har harmonious, which is a result, obviously, in a huge success. The cigar in which it got 94 was the 6 inch by 56 inch ring gauge, which is the Torpedo. It talks about what this wrapper, or what this cigar has in it. It's got a uh, Nicaraguan filler, which I talked to you about earlier, and binder, um, which I believe makes this a puros, which means pure in Spanish, meaning that both the, the binder, the filler, and the tobacco are all from Nicaragua, which means you have a pure cigar. Uh, again, coffee bean and caramel notes. Uh, I didn't taste too much caramel in it. I got the coffee and the creaminess, and I also got spicy and a little bit of pepper action going in it. Uh, it made their top 25 list, and I think it always does. So for a cigar that's $6.75, a wrapper, a binder, and a filler from Nicaragua, and you're looking for puros, which means pure, you can't go wrong with the Oliva Serie V. Check out an Oliva Serie V. They scored a 93 in 2007. They made 90,000 of these cigars. You will find one. You will love it. And the Chinese restaurant will be lit up. I hope this has been uh, an, a video that has made sense. I hope you guys have got uh, something out of it. I know I've had a good time making it. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Leave a series B. Keep puffing.